Hello everybody and welcome back. Well, I was thinking about this last night. It seems uh, somewhat strange and ironic that uh, many of us, I suppose, who purchase cell phones, uh, specifically smartphones, do so without the primary intention of making phone calls. You know, we do so, we purchase a smartphone because of the other cool features that a smartphone brings uh, for you in terms of functionality and usability. You know, such as, of course, you know, uh, playing games, uh, connecting to the internet, uh, maybe using, oh, maybe a barcode scanner to check the price and the specifications and information on a specific product, uh, which is, of course, a convenience, you know, Facebook, uh, texting, and, of course, all the other stuff that, that, uh, that cloud-based or internet-based technologies can bring to you in terms of, you know, functionality, fun, usability and all, the, and all that other good stuff and Chrome OS what I have here certainly fits into that category now I downloaded this last night I downloaded two versions one is a USB stick version a version which I did not test I downloaded the virtual box version which I did test last night for a few minutes uh, a few minutes I logged into my account logged out uh, both into my account and as a guest and it seemed pretty uh, quick and stable so for this demonstration tonight we will be testing this or running this inside a virtual box with uh, Ubuntu Linux uh, in the classic mode as you see here this will be my host machine so let's go ahead and take a look at Chrome OS maybe at the end we can somehow you know compare and contrast this briefly to Ubuntu Linux All right, well, I set up my account here uh, last night with this default uh, wallpaper here. Uh, you really, you probably can't read this at the top, but it says, it says here that the boot time took approximately 11.6 seconds, which is pretty fast. So at the bottom left here, you have basic functions, uh, shutdown, add user, browse as guest to the right. If I click that, this will give me the time and date, the volume control, accessibility, US keyboard. Uh, I think I'll just leave that the way it is. Let me go ahead and um, and go ahead and browse as guest. Okay, well this is the default desktop here. Now the one thing I did notice last night when I logged into my account, it did come up with I'm going to say maybe six different blocks or six different tiles welcoming me to the Chrome OS system and how it functions. Now we can. Uh, log into the internet to the internet here and get more information about this but if you are browsing as a guest this is what you would see and it says here uh, pages you view in this window won't appear in the browser history or search history it won't leave traces cookies and uh, stuff like that if I click here way at the bottom right we can go into uh, settings now it has here of course exit guest connect to internet volume settings time and date shutdown and help but let's go into settings real quick see what this looks like now keep in mind everything here is cloud based it is internet based so for that reason this isn't uh, this is really this is not really a normal well perhaps normal is a bad choice but this isn't a conventional way of running your machine or your laptop if you so choose to buy a Chromebook. Now some of this stuff is grayed out but if I was to log in I would be able to uh, set the home button or show the home button always show the bookmarks marks bar set wallpaper and so on and so forth. I suppose I can go to the mouse speed setting and speed that up a bit scroll down it has other settings here but I think I'll leave this the way it is of course I can move this here left or right, uh, click this here to the almost to the top right and this will give you some settings here as if you were running uh, the Chrome browser in a normal or regular desktop or laptop. So let me get out of that and here at the bottom you would have a panel bar of sorts, uh, right click I, I, now again the set wallpaper is grayed out if I was logged into my account I could uh, click that I can auto hide the launcher of course we have the browser here now this is where let me get out of that that's the middle tab there 
the apps uh, uh, the apps icon here now I downloaded about three or four apps last night after logging into my account now everything keep in mind again it's web-based I downloaded um what did I download an mp3 player a radio player a couple other things calendar something like that and they would show here as icons as little icons here in this section here and I could search this little handy search bar here so let me click that again click that again let me go to um and by the way that there, there is a grayed out icon here and it says here you have no notifications relax okay I am relaxed so let me click guest again let me click the question icon here which is help and let's get more information now let me say this if you are a newbie and are new to this this should be extremely easy to function out uh, using a Chromebook so you know if you're looking maybe if you are going into college and looking for just a simple laptop to get you on the internet uh, or maybe as a secondary machine if at home if you already have a main desktop or a main laptop but let's go to here to where it says about Chrome devices okay Chrome devices are a new type of computer with a single goal, goal to get you on the web as fast as possible. Now, I, I won't read everything here, but mainly, now this is important if you are new to this or if you are a newbie. And it says here, here, here are some things to keep in mind on whether a Chrome device is right for you. All your work is done in a browser. Mail, photos, documents, all your stuff is saved on the web. You can surf the web anytime, anywhere. Uh, Chrome devices start up fast and last all day long. Uh, your device will always be up to date. This can be handy for newbies because it says here each time you turn on your Chrome device, it automatically updates itself with the latest features, uh, system updates, and antivirus software. Uh, you can safely share your device, not your information, and you are protected by built-in security. Again, for newbies, this is great, and it says here each web page and application you visit runs in a restricted environment. So visiting one page that's been infected with something malicious cannot affect anything else on your computer. Okay, so if you were to buy a Chromebook, you would probably go straight to the web store. So let's click that and see what we have. Now this is where you will search for apps. Now these are Chrome OS apps and from the information that I got these are not uh, you can't download Android apps on this as you would uh, on an Android phone at least that's the information that I got if if I'm incorrect then uh, someone please correct me but that's how I believe a Chromebook or a Chrome OS operating system will work for you. And similar to Android, you can search the Chrome Web Store, and it has categories here on the left. And what I did last night, I just typed in, I think I just typed in, um, oh, let's see, MP3. Click Enter, and, and this will give you apps to download uh, that are, that will help you play your music. I can scroll up and down. Again, this is similar if I was, uh, if I had my Android phone with me and I was searching for apps to run in my Android phone. Okay, so let's go back. And let's see what else we have here. Let's go to devices. And see what's available. Okay, apparently there are Chromebooks that you can purchase for as little as $199, and that's uh, fairly cheap. I think they normally st uh, start at about $249, but $199 for a, a portable laptop I think is a terrific idea if you, on the, if you are in the market for something simple and fast. And if you are, and now once again, if you are a newbie, this is, this is, this is at least one way to go. You know, if 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 you know if you if you're looking for something bigger than a uh, say a tablet and something with a regular uh, full functioning keyboard, or or maybe you like the feel of a regular keyboard, this is certainly the way to go. And by the way, you can plug in a USB st uh, stick in these, 
in this and you know save say your documents and music on to your USB stick and as far as the web browser goes if you have you know tried you know Chrome before Chromium before I'm sure you are very very familiar with this now if I downloaded an app again once again it would show up here in my downloaded apps section section here and as I said I downloaded I downloaded a few last night after logging in and I didn't have I did not have any issues whatsoever now obviously if you bought a um, a physical Chromebook you know I'm assuming that your default screen would probably not look like this it would probably have some kind of nice you know wallpaper that you chose maybe some other shortcuts on it to help you get started with your brand new Chromebook but this is it this is Chrome OS it's designed for the web it's cloud-based it's it's meant to be more secure it's meant to be fast it's meant to be simple and I believe from what I see it is designed for newbies but how does this differ from a otherwise conventional type of machine well I'm running uh, Ubuntu Linux 12.04 in the classic mode now of course what you know with a computer with a normal computer like this you would have pre-installed uh, apps or pieces of software what you see here you really won't have this in a Chromebook now it's not necessarily good or bad it really depends what you're looking for if you are looking for a simple uh, laptop machine just to get you on the web to get you up and running and you have access to uh, Wi-Fi service uh, service most of the time such as maybe in school or maybe your house is set up for Wi-Fi then maybe this is the way to go so definitely consider this if you are looking for an inexpensive laptop machine a Chromebook to get you up and running specifically web apps cloud-based internet based and you just want something simple plug it in turn it on ready to go and that's all you are looking for then consider a Chromebook certainly well I think that's my conclusion as far as Chrome OS goes in uh, Chromebooks if you decide to buy one of these things uh, let me know let me know how it works out for you that you know they are inexpensive they're fast and they're secure that's probably something that uh, a newbie might want to consider or maybe someone who is not a newbie you know something that you may want to consider in purchasing your next laptop that's it thank you so much for watching this review of Chrome OS leave your comments below and I, I, th I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll post a link below if you are considering buying one of these I'll post a link below to get you up and running uh, shopping to a site where you can get more information on Chromebooks that's it thank you so much for watching and as always I will catch all of you sometime in possibly your Chrome OS future ciao